Okay, we're live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we did it. We're a couple minutes behind. Apologies. Yes. Um, uh, in- so we're actually, this is perfect, though, because we can wait for some people to join. Um, Hi, people are waving. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, also FYI, I had three cavities filled today. <laughs> three? Three. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. And so half my face is frozen. I, Was I wasn't. on the same side? What are you talking about? Is it all on the same side? You're the one who was like, is it that side? <laughs> I mean, I had a 50-50 chance, but that side did look a little weird. Yes, it was all in one side. <laughs> anyway. Um, so we're, so I, yes, half my face is numb. Um, so we're really excited. Number one to say that season two, episode one, which encompasses one and two of season two, uh, it is live. It's live as of five minutes, six minutes ago. Yeah. So you can um, listen anywhere you get your podcast. Yes. And you can access the video on, if you're a Patreon member. Yes. So if you'd like to see the video, please join and support uh, our Patreon. Yes. But we're so excited to be here. We have a whole bunch of photos. We have a whole bunch of markers. We do. We have a list. <laughs> I love a good list. This is going really well already. <laughs> So how do we do this? Wow, don't you, aren't you all glad you just yeah, tuned in? Uh, okay, and we're also going to be doing a bit of a Q&A as we yeah. do this signing. Um, so if you have questions, make sure to write it. Not that you're typing like this. Make sure, make sure to type it in the uh, yeah, but won't they go comment fast? section. Yeah, but we can scroll back. We can scroll back. See, I, this is what we, we're a good duo. Exactly. I do nothing on deck and she does everything. It's perfect for me. <laughs> Match made in heaven. Match made in heaven. Um, look, look at this first photo. It's one of my favorites, but you don't like it. Yeah, of course, it's one of your favorites. You look gorgeous. Is this I look you? like no. I look like I live in a dumpster. No, you <laughs> look like you have like dirt on your face, and you're like it's rough. Okay, yes, let's but let's show gorgeous. let's show the masses, I mean, please. This photo, I love it. No, oh, it's fine. It's not. It's not like the worst. It's the greatest. It's it's good because it's in that moment. It's you know, in that moment. Would, exactly. Would I not frame posed. this and put this beside I'm gonna frame my lover's just you. bed? Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to frame just your half and put it everywhere in this house. <laughs> Show up. It's like FYI. real creepy in here. <laughs> um, all right. So the first photo that we are assigning is from uh, Christy. Hello, Christy. Hopefully you're here. If you're not, we're, oh, by the way, we're also going to save this live to yes. our page. So if you missed any moment of the live or you're like, ah, I got to go, um, you can always come back and watch it on our reels later. Uh, so, oh, this is really cool. Christy yeah. wants us to draw the lines of our hand on the back of the print. Yes. All right, okay. Let's rock so now we do, are we also signing? Well, we're yeah. also signing. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. start with hands. Yeah. Oh my God. We have big mitts. Well, they'll just be over top of each other. Oh, I've never even heard of <laughs> <laughs> Not a good problem solver. <laughs> Troubleshooting is not my thing. Okay. All right. What color would you like? I'm going to have gold. Gold? Yeah. Let's do it. Or silver, like my feelings. <laughs> They're not silver. Um, but you have to do me and I'll do you. Oh, yeah. That makes yeah. Some sense. Okay. Ready? Okay, go. Well, stop moving. <laughs> She's wiggling. Okay. All right. So in the meantime, I am going to see, uh, okay. So someone said your glasses are amazing. Anna's going for an eighties, eighties mom. Um, yeah. she's really into that. I can feel you're not doing this very well. I'm doing it so well. And I just tips for those who want to bring back the eighties mom. When I go in to buy, um, jeans, which I don't do very often, by the way, because when do you see me in jeans? But when I go into a shop, I say, I would like a super high-waisted, slightly unflattering mom jean. <laughs> and they know exactly what I want. So just a little tip. Okay, um, okay here's a question. Uh, did you take any favorite colors or props from the series? Oh, actually, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah. Okay. Should we okay. Get, got a little gold on my hand. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Uh, you want gold too? Yeah. Oh, I think you should have another color. Okay, let's so that do. It, you can see where it's um, different. Don't look at my nails. <laughs> I'm getting them done tomorrow. <laughs> This wait, is, wait, wait, is it dry? Oh, yeah, let's make, let's let it dry for a sec. What was that question? Yeah. Um, did you take any clothes or props from the series? Yes, I did. I, um, <laughs> need hand cream. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I mean, I have Bo's knife that she had strapped around her thigh that she was always pulling out. I have that. 
Um, I have a lot of tight black clothing that is very seasonal, but um, I still have this belt uh, in this photo. And what else do I have? I have boots. There. I have several pairs of boots. Aw, cute. Oh, look. That was your ring. Kind of. That was my ring. Okay. It, it um, All right. Let's put our names in it. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Smarty pants. Okay. That was very cool. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. Uh, and idea. I took my leather jackets, particularly the turquoise one. Mm. Kind of iconic Tamsin jacket. Yes, I did take that. But then I ended up uh, auctioning it off for... Uh, Neo Tende. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I nice. think one of you has Tamsin's iconic jacket. So there Please you go. Send us a photo if you're, of you wearing it. If you can. Both our hands. Very cool. Okay. Um, so do someone we... asked if they can still get an autograph. I do believe if you go on to Streamly's website, which is in our uh, Instagram profile on the link tree, I do believe you can still get one. Yes, is the answer to that question. Okay. So. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, so look, we're going to mark complete. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, I'm doing that. Keener. Yeah. I'm doing that. No, we have to. Uh, I just I need it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh. So Kat says that uh, they went to Toronto a few months ago and recognized areas from the show. Oh, cool. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. Yeah. We did a, we shot on a lot of different locations in Toronto. Downtown Toronto, downtown Hamilton. Mm -hmm. um, like out in Mississauga. Mississauga. It's like downtown, you know, by the water. I shot there. Mm -hmm. That's where Zoe and I shot uh, when we had that the black <laughs> the black cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember that. That was great. Um, um, this all right. Is, this is nice. for coaching in Brazenwood. Yeah, that's a great shot. Were we was it were we drunk? No, I mean not like not us, but like the characters. Bo was or drunk. Were we? Wasn't Bo drunk? Uh, because someone unloved. else was drinking? Yes, Bo was, was drunk. Drinking. I was not. I was... Yes, and then she just comes over and gives you a big... Which brings so up much. a lot of issues, but... <laughs> <laughs> but let's not worry about Bo. Bo is fine, and so is Tamsin. So, so this um, is for... This is, yeah. uh, a Stephanie? A Stephanie. Uh, I gave Tamsin purpose from bad to good. Thank you for that. Aw, and that's so sweet. Thank you. Very sweet. I loved it. So let's uh, let's sign this yes photo. Uh, so this is not a name, I don't think, but S Y D X O X nineteen ninety two. Uh, I Anna, I watched Lost Girl since I was twenty one ten years ago. I want to ask, would you uh, would you wish Bo was a real character? Like, would you ever? wish to have oh would you ever wish to have Bo's powers in real life yeah <laughs> definitely really yes i mean i i just think once she really learned how to harness them yeah. um i feel like once she learned how to harness them she probably just needed to use them less because then she just felt you know ready to take on the world so yes would love to have her powers in real life would you i bet you would I don't, I don't know if I would like. I mean, you would like. You, yeah, it's like you, you wouldn't you, want to cast doubt on people. <laughs> no, to make them feel insecure. <laughs> I, can see why. Face. I can see why. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you. I think. Yeah, I guess I'd get multiple oh. lives though. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right. So this next one is from Sue. Uh, thank you for bringing Lost Girl back. By the way, of rewatch. We're very happy to yeah, do it. Yeah. Uh, there are no shows like this on TV in the UK when I needed them. Oh, well, thank you, Sue. And we, I mean, we know how much the show has touched fans, which is why we're, we are doing the podcast as sort of a love letter to you guys because we've gotten so much love from you guys over the years. So yeah. thank you for that. And you've chosen the podcast tip. Yeah. We are. But we also, I think we say this a lot, that um, there there wasn't really a lot like Lost Girl mm -hmm. at the time. Now there's a lot more inclusive content with representation. Um, but at the time, I don't know, at least there were a few shows like The L Word and stuff like that. But Yeah. I feel like there was lot. something very unique about Lost Girl 
and um, it, it was kind of interesting to tell all those stories in a sci-fi setting and not make it about the characters, you know, sexuality or, I mean, that was not the framework of the show. It was like survival in the Fey world. So um, it kind of highlighted it in, in a more real and special way, even though it was a, you know, fantasy show. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Sue. Agreed. 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 Okay. Um, all right. This next one is for Megan, Anna's favorite. Fave. <laughs> we have it all so over glad all of you guys got this one. Yeah. Everyone that comes <laughs> over will be you. like, who is that? I'm like, that's Rachel. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't get it. So. Um, Megan, we yeah. love Lost Girl and you ladies. Can you please wish my girlfriend? Oh, okay. So this isn't from Megan, but it's for their girlfriend, Megan. Ah. A very happy 40th birthday. Happy 40th, happy 40th Megan. Very exciting. Um, very exciting. And also, right, happy birthday, Megan. Okay. Duh. Of course. Done. Um, Let me see here. Don't do it in black because it's too dark. What if I do this happy there and yeah. then we sign, sign? Or, or mm -hmm. yeah, no, okay. no, you don't agree. You know, I, I can sense it. You disagree. What color? This, no, not gold. Silver. But look, silver gold. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. What about blue? No, this is like this weird. Oh, it's a dark blue. Permanent okay, then yeah, do thing. happy birthday. Go with your gut. I'm going here. I'm just gonna write happy birthday here. Okay. Happy birthday, Megan. Okay. Uh, Megan, that's very exciting. Forty. I'm into it. I am turning forty in two years, I guess. And I'm, I'm actually kind of excited. I felt like when I turned thirty. I was really happy. Everyone was like, oh, like dirty 30. And I, I, you can, <laughs> that's, what they were <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody said to me. The baristas, <laughs> but, um, you couldn't pay me to go back to my twenties. I had a good time, but I, I feel like it's a privilege to get to be older and hopefully wiser. Yes. Yeah. Well, and if you're Anna Silk, <laughs> equally as beautiful as you were 20 years ago. <laughs> I thank you. I, oh, why is there water on that? I don't know. That's probably your spit. My spit. I spit on it, Megan. I'm sorry about <laughs> that. But uh, yes, I, I celebrated a big birthday myself recently. I turned 50, which is crazy. Um, I'm good because, you know, I just keep on keeping really on. It's really convincing. <laughs> Everybody wants do you know wants to turn 50. Um, all right, the next one. Hold on, let's see if we have any questions. Oh, March 3rd is your birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday uh, to Sid Alberfin. <laughs> I, I don't know, I can't read it. It's yeah. true. Honestly, maybe I need glasses. Um, but happy birthday to you. Uh, Forty. Okay. What other supernatural series would you ladies uh, have loved to see Lost Girl crossover with at the time the show came out? Gosh. Um, I mean, it's so easy to say Buffy, although it wasn't on anymore. Mm. But it kind of would have been cool to see Bo and Buffy. Mm -hmm. Maybe like go head to head and then, I don't what know. What's another show? I mean, I feel like. Like sort of an easy answer, but also just my standard one is always Star Trek. Just that can make cool. myself on Star Trek, man. You know what would have been cool too, though, is to do like a sitcom episode where suddenly all of our characters find themselves on like a laugh track sitcom set. I don't know what sitcom was on at the time. Friends, Friends, Friends. That would be cool too. There you go. There you go. There you go. They had nicer apartments than you. They did. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. even think I did. I oh, live. Kansas. Where did I even live? You didn't have. You didn't live. <laughs> You just, you just appeared. <laughs> I feel like I always play these characters that like live in the sewer. But come out wearing a beautifully tailored leather jacket. <laughs> um, all right. After all watching right. Lost Girl, I knew I was a lesbian. <laughs> nice. Uh, welcome to the best decade, Anna. Thank you. Um, and... Anna doesn't look 50. I mean, we can go on and on, please. Lord. Stop. Uh, Buffy would have been good. Orphan Black. Oh, yeah. Oh, Orphan yes. Orphan Black would have been great. Would have been amazing. Uh, Winona, by... Earp. Winona Earp was after us, though. Yeah. That would be cool. Uh, but also cool. Yeah. We kind of did do a crossover since we were all on we were Winona Earp. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, 
And when I attend another ErbCon, I actually am attending another ErbCon. I'm going to Herb Division Expo. Nice. I know. I'm really excited. They invited me back in Niagara Falls this year. Nice. Uh, we should Ooh, do a Lost Dark Girl. Angel. That would be cool, too. Oh, Dark Angel was on at the same time? No. That was I before. I don't think so. Before us. Was Angel? No. Angel wasn't on at the same time. Maybe. Everyone's saying they love Dark Angel, though. That was Jessica Alba. I think it was um, James... Cameron. Supernatural. Oh, Supernatural was on at the time. Those yeah. boys are really cool. I like both of them a lot. Yeah. We can we could cross we can over. do that. Um, all right. So we'll let some more cues come in. Yes. So now we are, we've got this. <coughs> Rachel's favorite. Yes. For to, um, Amanda. Amanda. Love the evolution of Bo and Tamsin's relationship. Was surprised they didn't end up together. But you doing this podcast together is awesome. Thank you. We did have a good relationship, Bo and Tamsin. Yeah, we did. I feel like Bo and Tamsin were 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 equals. You know, they mm-hmm. were equally powerful characters. Stop the marker. Um, you know what's really good though is that we actually haven't cut off yet. <laughs> I remember last night it was like tipping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Um, <coughs> yes. Yes, they were equals. They were, and they had such a deep respect for each other. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just this deep. Respect. I don't know how, what else to say about it. It was, yeah, yeah, it was very special. Well, and that evolved because originally, I think I've talked about this before, but originally I was brought in to be Chris Holden Reed's love interest. Mm-hmm. That quickly fizzled because Chris and I love each other so much, but have what I would describe as absolutely zero chemistry on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <clears throat> Yeah, but I think you and you, I had great both, chemistry on camera. Yes, we did. and then that's when the idea for our love story came to be. Yes, um, and I really liked, I really liked that story. I think you and Chris, it's just you—you you can't stay away from your goofy sides, both of you, when no, you're together. I know. It like pumps up, and then it makes it really hard. I know, just oh, wait, Tweedledee and right Tweedledum. Uh, Tamsin went so many, through so many changes. I loved her badass side and her cute innocent side later on. I was actually not sure if people would like that. I was sort of worried because Tamsin had been like so badass. Right. And then she went to being childlike and I thought people were going to be like, oh, this isn't the Tamsin that we like. But, but people liked it. You played a little kids. You were so cute. That was the one where we all were teenagers. Oh, yeah. I well, I was a kid for most all of season four because I remember I Did started you? as a baby and then I like regrew. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't you remember the episode where I was like, okay, okay, okay. No, you don't. You were doing that? Yes, I was a baby. Is she, is she making that up? <laughs> <laughs> you were acting like a baby? <laughs> Why do I remember that? <laughs> it's like Kenzie had me in a crib. Do you not an actually <laughs> hire a baby? No, because I come back as an adult. Like a, in a oh, body of an adult, oh, but I yes, am a but baby. baby. But she was like evolved. feeding me a bottle. That's right. young but don't remember that oh god now she's making me think i am getting old i was like how did we get through that without laughing how did i get through this without laughing (laughs) oh wow (laughs) everyone's saying no she didn't see the problem is anna can't see any of these comments so i know i need to do this oh now i can see oh my goodness oh smelly cat hey hi smelly cat uh, okay, I'm going to do that. Wait, we okay. Amanda. Amanda. So <laughs> next up is Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. Hi. Um, all right. So we, there's no message, ah. but we know Tiff. This is for you. All right. Aww. Thank you, Tiffany. Do you want to go first? Yes. Do the honors. Okay. Let me see if I can read. Smelly cat. Yes. Smelly cat. What are they feeding you? We love smelly cat. Um, hello. Hello in Scotland. Very exciting. I'm trying to think of a way to get back at Rachel. I just want you to know. <laughs> Do you remember the episode where Bo, I'm just kidding. I'll think of something. <laughs> I will. Um, how did we meet for the first time? Oh, do you remember? I do. Really? I do. I don't. Yep. How did we meet for the first time? Oh, hang on. I can't do two things. Hang on. Um, so I 
remember being shown your picture that you were going to be hired to play Tamsin. Tamsin was going to come in. And I remember your picture. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> She's fine. She's, <laughs> she'll do. It's fine. Whatever. Beautiful. Um, I'm kidding. I was like, oh, what a beautiful, lovely woman. And then um, yeah, yeah. the first time we drove out to the studio together, you were already in the van and Dushan mm -hmm. came to get me. Mm -hmm. I was living in Yorkville that season. Okay. And you were in the car. Oh. And you were on the phone. And I got in and I was like, and you're like, hi, just a sec. <laughs> and I was like, wow. Okay. I'm kidding. I did not think I any of us. Like, to? I don't know. I don't know. You were talking and then you got off and you're like, I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm here. Hi, I'm Rachel. And then we talked about food probably right probably. away. And or animals. Or animals. Yeah. Um... And okay. then that the rest is history. That that's what I, I have remember. No memory. And I'm that. kidding. I was not angry, but you were on the phone. Huh? Wow. Making deals. Probably. <laughs> Taking names, making <laughs> deals. No, I was okay. probably talking. Who knows what I was talking about? I was 26 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That is so crazy. That is so crazy to me. Oh, and no. I was like 30. Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I was a baby. I was like a baby. It felt like a baby. Okay. Okay. So this is from Mike. Mr. Mike. Uh, you are doing well. J-A-P-A-N-G-31 says hello from Brazil. Ziv says hello from Israel. Hi. Wow. That's so far away. That's crazy. Um, oh my gosh. One from New Zealand. That's even wow. farther. Puerto Rico. What time is it in New Zealand? I know. You guys are so legit, honestly. I know. Um, what's your favorite memory? Okay, so let me, who's asking this? So happy we love foster dogs. I mean, Anna and I, biggest suckers in town, Anna. Yeah. Just adopted another we just got a third dog. dog. Uh, okay. Uh, Drupal Hops uh, asks, what's your favorite memory of filming the show? Oh, and hello from Colombia. That's mm -hmm. very cool. And Spain. Watch wow. out. Spain. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> um, favorite memory. I mean, I, it, we always answer the same thing, but it's just true. We just, we all made such, we were all such good friends. Mm. So it was just the camaraderie on set. Um, in terms of storytelling, I feel like I have, it's more of a feeling of just sometimes when we knew a story, a storyline really came together, performances really came together, everything really came together and just made it extra special. So I have those memories too, but those are rare on set to have that kind of feeling. Yeah. We always had fun. Do you know what I want to know? Where, where's this guy now? Yeah. What's he up to? Why isn't he here signing? He was, <laughs> he was getting a show. <laughs> Hello, sir. I love it. If anyone knows who that guy is, yeah, we'd actually love to have him on the podcast. No, um, you. you would have been sweating so much. It was so hot. That this day. is from Ziv. I wonder Ziv. if this is the same Ziv that is from Israel. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, Colombia, Netherlands, Spain, Italy, Poland, Ukraine, Hong Kong, Argentina. This is insane. Guys. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Wherever India. Wow. No, this is from India. Oh my goodness. Poland. Auckland. New Zealand. It's 8.30 in the morning, Friday in New Zealand. All right. Not it's so tomorrow. bad. Tomorrow. Yeah. It's tomorrow. Not so bad. Uh, it's 1 a.m. So, uh, from Indi Sapri, India. Sapri, Sapri, Yajatap. I'm definitely butchering that one, but it says it's 1 a.m. Uh, I'm watching this rather than sleeping anyway. Hi from India. Hi. Hello. I love India. I think most of you know that my mom was born and grew up in India. So it has a special Very place cool. in my heart. Mm -hmm. Wyoming, Spain, Brazil. Wow, a lot of pullets. Okay, question. Question from uh, Patri CJAH5024. Hello from Poland. Any new projects coming your way? Ladies, miss you very much. So the answer to this question is no, not for me. <laughs> um, I am producing right now. I'm trying to get into producing. So I've been focusing on that, but also I had a baby as most of you know, and beautiful baby. Yeah. But like that stuff, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that keeps you just um, a little bit busy. Yeah. But wonderful. But 
full on. So I've been focusing on, on that as well. Um, but I know a lot of you asked that question, so I figured we would just answer it. Yeah. Um, and what am I doing? Uh, we just adopted a third dog, a puppy. She's two months old. Ridiculous. Um, she's really gorgeous. Like um, I'm very busy with my family as well. And I mean, I'd like and to work soon. And the podcast. The podcast. We've Word. got lots of exciting episodes coming up for you. Uh, okay, next is for Ashley. Ashley this one. Okay. Uh, would we be down to do a Lost Girl movie? Yes, we always say yes to we that always question would. because Hands down, yes. it is the truth. I uh, hope we come back to the UK again. I mean, hey, we do. I love going to the UK. Uh, who do we think would have made the ideal incubus? Oh my God, I've never been asked that question. Oh, that's a really good question. I mean, who, who, who could have that kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I need a time. This is a, an important question. Who, Rachel, you have an answer. Who, 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 who. Okay. That reminds me of Kyle Schmidt, season four. <laughs> That's right. There's this yeah. scene where... We're all, I can't remember what we were doing, but Kyle was like off he only to the side. Two lines. Yeah, and he's only standing aside. <laughs> they were both who? But he's like standing off by a pole and, and we're having this whole intense scene, and then he'd be like, who? <laughs> and then the scene would continue and he'd be like, who? And he kept trying to say it differently so he didn't seem ridiculous, but he just sounded like an owl. And he looked like an actually owl. the hardest part, the hardest scenes to do. Because you're like, First, who should really sound like this? Is <laughs> that you're thinking about it so much? I know, but he looked like he was in a tree and he was yeah. an owl. So, anyway, for a but long Kyle, time, Kyle we made added so much to our show, fun more than just him. a couple of. Uh, but who would be a good incubus? I, I don't know. I mean, Mine is Eric Bana because I think he's so like Troy Eric Bana. That's his given birth name. Is that no, it? just Eric Bana was his ultimate hotness in Troy. Oh, the movie. <laughs> yeah, I thought you just happened to know his given birth name was Troy Eric. And I was like, wow, you are a fan. No. <laughs> um, God. Okay, why is this so hard? I, I just, mean, just pick, Jeremy Allen like White, then, the hottest guy on TV right now. I don't even, who is that? The Bear. Oh, you leave immediately. Go watch the interesting. Bear. Go watch The Bear. No, I did. I watched the first episode. I just felt like they were yelling at me. They are. Yeah, they are. But wasn't for me. They had a very sensual. I know, but I I have like a a little being who just yells at me all the time. That's I'm just true. like I can't handle it right now. No, no, no. Um, hi from Mexico, Romania, Turkey, Iowa, Turkey, Poland, Latvia. Frederick New Brunswick. Yay! Eleven AMs from Fredericton. Yeah, well, no, Fredericton. <laughs> And, and Vivi, right below her from Toronto, my nice. hometown. Um, would we like to film a reunion episode in the, or of the show? Absolutely. We would love to. Why wouldn't we love to? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but we're basically trying to do it right now. Yeah, this is actually it. <laughs> we just, you know. Uh, give Zoe a big hug. We have a crush on her. I mean, who doesn't who, who have doesn't? a crush on yeah. Zoe Palmer? I feel like everyone has a crush a on lot. Zoe Palmer. So if Zoe laughs at my joke, I'm like, Four -legged I can die. woodland creatures have crushes on Zoe Palmer. I feel like they just flop. So great. Um, all right, Anna, you're neglecting your job. Oh, I'm sorry. Nancy, my best friend's name. This is not my best friend, Nancy, but this is a different Nancy. Question. Would your inner Tamsin both punch me in the face, then realizing that it was very sweet, say so? What? After... Get a cheek squeeze. Okay, uh, yeah. okay let's try again. Would your inner Tamsin both punch me in the face, then realizing it was very sweet, say so after getting a sweet cheek squeeze? <laughs> well, that's for you, that question. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, great. Wow. This is actually one thing that about Rachel. When you ask Rachel a question, she really thinks about it. <laughs> it's true. About everything, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Like, you'll, I'll, like, I'll be like, you know, I mean, I don't know what I've ever said. Do you want a sweet cheese you know, squeeze? Or, <laughs> like, what kind of sandwich you want? But you would sit there and go, you, like, have a moment where you reflect, uh -huh. and then you answer. It's quite lovely. 
There you go. I guess I just want to make sure I'm making the right choice, yeah. you know? Yeah, weighing all your options. Okay, so we have another question. Was the finale the hardest? This is from Nat. Was the finale the hardest episode to shoot? Can you think of another challenging episode to get through? I mean, it was definitely hard for me because I was, like, giving birth. Um, it was sort of like giving birth in real life. It took 13 hours to shoot. <laughs> but you had some breaks and snacks. <clears throat> That's, That's a little different. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and I wasn't actually giving birth. But um, that one was hard. What was the hardest episode? Honestly, it's, it's more... For me, episodes that are outside in the cold, cold. at cold night, is the worst. that is hard for me personally. I, I feel like during the day at 2 p.m., you can ask a lot from me, like in the sunshine, and I won't see it as being hard because I love our job. Mm -hmm. But those like night shoots in the frigid, like frigid cold. Because of you, you Toronto, care about what you're bringing to the screen. So it's hard to bring something yeah. to the screen when you've lost all hope in getting home and being warm ever all right not um, that anyone but, cares but my face is now unfrozen oh just like that no it happened slowly but i wanted to wait until i was sure oh wow yeah you look completely who is this person i don't even know this is crazy <laughs> yeah, cavity free i thought i was gonna say caffeine free but that's not true uh okay did you say this name uh simeon okay well then simeon we're gonna sign okay, your simeon your uh, Okay, so TJ Ki Kiwi says, by the way, thanks to Lost Girl, I met my buddies in crime, Tam and Nat, and they are like my other half, and we are like the three musketeers, and I am so truly thankful for the heart-touching autograph and cameos for us. That's so lovely. Thank you very much. I love that. I also met a lot of my buddies on Lost Girl because of Lost Girl. Uh, Oh, Henry Cavill. Oh. Tudor's Henry Cavill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Joe Manganiello. Yes. Also a sexy man. Yeah. I don't know. It would be interesting. Incubus. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, right. We're going to go up here after just, you know, to find the others, I think. Okay. So this is for, this is Liz. Liz? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is for, and I'm sorry for, I feel like we're calling Liz out here. I'm sorry for screwing up present for Liz. Oh, oh. okay. So Liz, whoever got this is sorry for screwing up. And they want to get this for you. Because. You your hands or kiss the print. I wonder if, uh, kissing the, could we like put lipstick on? Yeah, I know, but I don't know if that would stay. Do you have tape? What are we gonna do with that? Well, if you have scotch tape, we can kiss it and then scotch tape it. I mean, I can arrange this. Yeah, okay, this, is, get this is what we're gonna do for you. I, I feel like we can I don't even have lipstick here, but we can do this for you. So this we're going- happen. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah, we'll take, so take this So we're photo. gonna say that, we're gonna press the button here, but take a picture and we're gonna smooch it. And wait, 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 L-Y-S-S, right? Yes. I took a picture of it, so it's Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do mine. Yours, and I'm going to do things over here. And yes, and then we're going to do Anna Bananas. Um, just check anything. What in. cities would you girls like to visit for Lost Girl episodes? Literally any city. Um, I'm totally down to clown with traveling. I love it. How was it working with Paul? How was it working with Paul? It's it, it's a you get roller pranked. coaster. You get pranked. Yeah, you get pranked. There's, there's unpredictable. You either get in on the pranks or you get pranked. Although we never pranked you because I, you were just so nice. Well, I think the reason no one pranked me is because you knew I would cry, and I would actually cry. I know. I know. So <laughs> like, we you handle stuff like that. <laughs> so Paul and I pranked each other a lot. We pranked Luke Billick. We pranked Chris a lot. Yes. Uh, did we prank Zoe? I can't remember. Probably. Yeah, I think we. I think Paul pranked Zoe with the ghost peppers. Oh my god. He got me real bad with the ghost peppers, but no one was worse than Luke Poor because Luke. his he yeah, had an allergic yeah, reaction. I know. <laughs> and, oh, we, and we forced him to put yogurt all over his face. <laughs> it actually worked though. Um, Do you have a favorite style of clothing. 
I'm always writing you saying, where can I get something uh, like this? Yeah. I, my friends joke that my two clothing styles are grandmother vintage and 13 year old boy. They're not wrong, but I would say I really love like a classic American jeans and a t-shirt, like blue jeans, white t-shirt, make it French with like a cardigan mm-hmm. over your shoulder You're or something. You're good at making things French. Thank you. I just yes. copied my mother-in-law. And I also have a real love for like hippie dresses. Like, mm. um, actually Australia has really good brands, uh, that I love there. Um, yeah. But what I like to do, cause I love a deal is if I find something that I like, then I'll go on like Poshmark or places like that and you can get amazing deals and I love going to Goodwill and mm-hmm. um because you can find older things that yes. are like really beautifully made I get a lot of kind. dresses secondhand yeah because no matter what how it fits you can belt it in the middle and it'll look great exactly but my that. favorite thing is Levi's vintage Levi's from like a like a market like a flea market with a good white t-shirt from Aritzia I love them oh, yeah They're and great. yeah I just have clothing goals. I mean, like, I have so many ideas in my head. I love the idea of, like, uniform dressing, like Donatella Versace, where you wear basically the same thing every day. But then I don't Mm. do that. So I wear a lot of... I don't like jeans, except I bought a pair last week. Mom jeans, uh, for the record. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I find jeans so uncomfortable. Like, so uncomfortable. Except I found these in, like, sweatpants jeans. Um, They're amazing. And that's just giving up. I've given up. (laughs) Essentially, um, no, you should get a pair of like vintage Levi's. No, I get it. I, I mean, I don't wear jeans on the, the plane, you know, but like day to day life, you wouldn't wear them on a plane, jeans, yeah, because they're not comfortable. Yeah, that's what I No, They're not comfortable, like, because I'm gonna try and like sleep in my four inches of cabin space, right? Yeah, but for day to day life, I like wearing jeans, I like wearing jeans. Well, well jeans these wrong. new jeans are good. I don't know, I like dresses because they're just easy, they go with anything. You can change your shoes. Um, when you have young kids, as many of you know, your clothing becomes a giant napkin. So it's something that you want your kids to just wipe their face on. This is for Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Um, okay, let me see here. Rachel, would you have liked to play Bo for one episode? And Anna, would you have liked to play Tamsin? Uh, one off episode. I mean, I don't know what I could bring to Tamsin. Yeah, I feel like I would. Uh, I, in I, theory, I, of in course, theory, it would be fun yes. to play Jerk. Actually, no, that's not true. I would not want to, to play Bo because in season four, you and I, I was like your new sidekick. Or was it season five? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe it was season. When was Brazenwood? Four. Was that four? Five. Does no. any, Brazenwood was four. Brazenwood was four. Yeah, so four. I kind of became like your buddy. Mm-hmm. And I remember being like, oh my gosh, you work so much. Because every scene that you were in, I was typically in that scene too. Oh, with right. You. Yes, 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 yes. And that's when I realized that I was fine with you playing no. <laughs> <laughs> But then there was like a, the Tams and the Backstory episode. Remember? And you, you were in everything. You were basically Bo for that episode. Yeah. Because I think, and there was one episode where I was in a coma. Do you remember? I was so happy. Because I earned that coma. <laughs> so yeah. for three days of filming, I got to lay in bed <clears throat> and listen as everyone around me. But no, I would love to have played Tamsin, but I don't think that I would not I would never have been cast as Tamsin. I just think that casting would be off. But it would, in theory, be very fun. Very good okay, question. so this is for, I believe the way you say it is Jorge, but I think it's George. Um, so... I, I'm not sure which one is it, how you say it, but this is for you. Uh, and I'm going to write my favorite quote from the show. Um, and get that. I'm sorry, Back I have to, to do this so I can see. Okay. Any chance you'll be at any cons this year where you're going to an herb one? I'd have no plans at the moment, but I would, I would come. Uh, when are we going to see Anna and Zoe back together on screen? Wouldn't that be amazing? I love, I love Zoe. Who knows? Who knows? How were the SoCal rains? Wet. Very, very, very wet. Um, there's more... I mean, it, no, I shouldn't say that. A lot of people have been very affected yes, by it. a lot of mudslides. But I do and... giggle a little bit coming from Canada when it's like just 
pitter pattering rain be like we can't drive today <laughs> <laughs> we need to stock up yeah but no it is bad certainly for parts of california uh Very bad. what would you like to see anna play rachel and vice versa what kind of role <gasps> what would i like to see you play yeah What would I like to see you play? I mean, okay, I'd like to see you do some comedy, but I actually would love to see you do, like, like a badass person, but not in, like, a really high-powered lawyer oh. or something. Because you're, you're very intelligent. You're actually so lovely and warm, but you play the steeliness very well. Oh, oh. But you're also quite funny, so maybe maybe also oh. anything. Thank you. God, oh. okay, what do I want to see you play? I mean, I feel like you work so much and I get to see you play all these things. You are, ooh. Well, right back at you. You're intelligent, beautiful, all the things. Um, but you have like this freedom when you perform that's very, uh, beautiful to watch. And so I don't know what that translates into in terms of a role. Um, someone, someone who's like on the edge, <laughs> on the losing edge. it a little bit. <laughs> That's what I'd like to see. That's what I'd like for you. That's what I want for you. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm realizing that, uh, Alex, we do not have the photos. Um, Oh. That you had requested. So what I'm going to do, you said absolutely love Tamsin and Lost Girl. Just that's the beginning of your note. Just so you know that we, it's you. Um, I'm just going to take a photo of this and then we will make sure you get the photo that you want. Because I don't want you to have a photo that you don't want. And I also see that Katya, uh, favorite quote from Tamsin, it's the same thing. We don't have the photo that you want. Yes, so we have to get that. we're going to get that for you and get that done. But I want to shout you both out regardless on here. Um, and we'll make sure to get you your photo. Uh, okay. Oh, and you know what? I'm realizing we also don't have the birds, the birds of, of prey photo. So we're missing some. Alex again. Oh my gosh. I think it's the same person. I'm so sorry. We will get these. I don't have your photo here, but we will get it. And sending you a virtual hug. So wait, I'm going right. to take another photo of this. Sorry, Anna, this is all on your phone. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> text them to you. So uh, I think it's Shanga is uh, your name. And you said, uh, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. You said how to pronounce it, but I actually pronounced it right. I can, that's yes. nice. Uh, loved you on Batwoman. Top tier, one of my favorite Arrow first villains. Awesome. Very sweet. That, that's like very sweet because there were a lot of very, very cool villains in the Arrowverse. I really like, appreciate that. And you cool would photo. like... I love that photo. This is actually, I think, my favorite. Uh, so you always get like publicity photos taken. Like they're called kind of stock images of your character. And of all the characters I've played, maybe less one of the rain ones that I really liked. That one is cool. It's so great because it's the character. I know. You know what I mean? It's not just like a great photo of you. It's no. It's this character and it's so cool. I love it. Very cool. Uh, okay. Do we have more questions? Yes. Let's see. Um, let's see here. Okay. Wait. Huh? What in the Lost Girl throwback is this? What? Oh, oh. What in the Lost Girl throwback is this? We're, we're, what? I don't know what that means, but we're doing a live if you just joined. Um... You love my nails. Oh my God, they're they're actually terrible, but thank you. They have completely, all the polish has completely come off. If you want to see the truth, I have to get all this off. Um, and I know I talked about getting my nails done, which I do like twice a year now. So, uh, oh my God, Alice, you're the reason I watched Batwoman for Aww, Alice. And nailed thank it. You. Would you change anything about Lost Girl? I mean, Sure. I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't know that I would have changed anything about the experience because for me, even the challenges I got to grow from personally and professionally. Um. I think. I don't know. I, I I wouldn't have changed anything. I know that there are some people that would have liked to see their character maybe have a different ending, or things like that. But for me personally, 
um, I felt like it told a really beautiful full circle story, um, which I like a nice clean ending that feels strong and sort of starts, ends where it started with uh, discoveries into this new world. So I don't know. I don't know. Would you have changed anything? Um, <laughs> You're like, this, this, this. <laughs> well, uh, would I have changed anything? Yes, I did not like how my hair changed every season, but that was my fault. <laughs> I thought was I, that your fault? I thought like my season three hair was like good. It was off the chain. Was it the long one? But then, the yeah, but then I wanted my hair to be more my natural color. In retrospect, I don't feel like it looks good because then they were like, okay, yeah, cool. But like you look a little bit like Zoe. No one's to be able to tell you apart, which is ridiculous, but whatever. Um, people actually sometimes have asked me if I'm Zoe, so that's fine. Uh, but they, so they were like, let's go like a little bit darker. And I just felt like it looked bad. I think it looked oh. bad. No. But that was no one's fault but my own. And then the I only time I ever saw your hair look a little bit funny, just a little bit. Mm. And it was only for one moment. Do you remember? We were just about to shoot something and someone, we, hair and makeup people came over and they're, they're all incredible, but there was a lady there who had taken this big thick hairbrush to you that not, not normally is not normally so she was kind of doing this and then you turned to me and you were like Shh. like your hair was like you just supposed to be like and then they're like action like okay like, that's what's wish, happening i wish i could remember what that scene is anyway. um okay so alex uh one of my fondest memories of playing tanzan you asked me to say this in here um i i think it's just the time with everyone. I did cover Paul Amos's chair in garbage once. That mm -hmm. was fun. Mm -hmm. I liked that a lot. Um, and playing Tamsin, one of my favorite memories. It was that scene. It was so heartbreaking. But when um, I told you I loved you and mm -hmm. you, but that I just remember filming that scene and I felt I very supported you. by you. And I it was, was so sad that. because I had to tell you. Mm. And the tub, because we didn't at the time. I don't think we thought that that tub. When you got in the tub with me, yeah, I mean, we were just like, oh, it's another scene, and then it ended up being this super epic mm -hmm. scene. Uh, so that's for you, Alex. And then Simi, this is for you. And I put uh, my favorite quote. So whenever people ask me for my, my favorite quote, it's always um, the same. It's that <laughs> when Tamsin says uh, to Lauren to eat a sack of tits. <laughs> It's I, perfect. It's so good. Because no one else says that. Except no, Tamsin. and when I read it, I was like, I can't say this. This is this is crazy. And then I read it in the read through. Were you eating something when you said it? Yes. In the show? Yeah, I ate a lot in that show. Yeah, you did. But I heard you were like, eat it. Well, I, I think I was there. Although I think you were fed by a baby bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, remember? I'm like, God, yeah. what's wrong with me? Um, um, all right. right. So, Anna, you are up. Oh, I'm up. Yes. So do you know how to log into? Do your... I? Let's see. Did we do this for Brit? No. Okay. So let's do, let's this, for do this for Brit first. Uh, let's do right here. So can you write live the life you choose? Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I'm going to write, this is what love feels like. Uh, those are your favorite quotes. Oh, and you met us. You met us. Oh, very cool. Oh, thank you, Brit. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, Kat said one of my favorite lines in The Lost Girl, the eat a sack of tits, yeah. Uh, do I miss living in Vancouver? Yes, I do miss living in Vancouver. However, I actually go back and forth. Um, I, so I am going there actually quite soon. Um, but it's a very lovely city. I, it's funny, I did not like Vancouver when I moved there. I. In fact, I told everyone I, who would listen and people who didn't want to listen how much I did not like Vancouver because it was hard adjusting to the rain. And then I think now I really miss it. So when it rains here, both Alex and I was like, oh, it's like Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, I've only been to Vancouver one time. I'd really? I'd like to go back. Yes. For what? To, for press for Lost Girl. They flew oh. in with Adrian. Remember Adrian? Mm hmm And we went to like different radio stations and morning shows and things like that. And then we flew out. Leo. That's the dog next door. Hey, Leo. That's my friend. All right. Have you been to India? You have. I have been to India twice. I've been... The first time we went uh, all throughout the north, like 
uh, up through Agra and Jaipur and Delhi and uh, Mumbai and uh, everywhere. And then the second time we did the South. So we went down uh, through like Goa and Kerala. The one place I have not been in India that I would really like to go to actually is Pondicherry. But that was over on the other side, so we didn't get to go. Um, but yes, I'm hoping to go back. It's also really fun to go with my mom because she speaks fluent mm. Hindi, wow. which isn't as useful in the South because there's so many dialects in India and it's Hindi is primarily used in the North, which if you're from India, you know. Um, but it's really great to go with her. And also because then we're staying with her friends there and it's just, I, I always like doing that wherever I go rather than staying in a hotel. Like even if it's just an Airbnb or something, because then you can really immerse yourself and feel like you're part of the city. Um, okay. That's a good fun question here. What are you scared of? What am I scared of? Oh, yeah, needles oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, no, needles. Yes. Yeah. No, Remember no, I had I... to give you a pretend needle and they had to, it was like a pretend needle. I had to jam like this. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's, oh no and then we had to and this is what she was doing and then I, I had to like make it and I was like I'm just gonna go for it because then we only have to do it a couple of times oh. and they put like a okay. like a bra chicken cutlet thing yeah in there to even pad it even more because uh, honestly even uh, today I had to get a couple needles at the dentist oh yeah and I, I, I don't like dental profusely stuff. sweating um, like the dentist even commented on it <laughs> he was like wow you're, you're really hot for sputtering <laughs> Do you know my dentist story? Um, no, but before you before share, share it, it, we need to go okay, so. to your oh, yeah. dashboard. All right, let's see. Uh, vous parlez français. Anna does. Et toi aussi. Oh, oui. C'est vrai. vrai. J'apprends français maintenant parce que mon mari est, est français et c'est mon rêve de parler avec uh, uh, ton famille juste en français tout le temps. Ooh, c'est très bon. On va, on va voir. Moi, j'ai étudié depuis la première année, mais ça fait longtemps que je pratique. Et, mais euh, depuis première année jusqu'à deuxième année, tout en français. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew nothing else. I knew nothing else, but I could speak French. But I don't get to practice anymore. We need to practice. Yeah, actually, I would love to practice. Let's do a, a, a podcast episode in French with English subtitles. <laughs> Would anyone like to see just a, a podcast in French? <laughs> Everyone's like, mm, crickets. Crickets. Well done. Um, how am I going to find my, my password? Uh, yours, oh, yours was it, crazy. What is mine? It, it came up when you did it one time. Oh. Okay. So what's your, what's the email? It, it, came, it came up here as like a password suggestion. Oh. So it should be saved. Do you have like the password the, where it's saved? Uh, we're getting a lot of yeses for our French podcast. Okay, I mean, obviously we won't do the Lost Girl, like the episode in French, because that sucks for anyone who doesn't speak French. Or, and also sucks for people who do speak French, because it won't be that good. <laughs> yeah. But we could just do like, like a fun side pod where we just have like a 10 minute chat in French. Maybe. Peut-être. Peut-être. Uh, okay. Do one in Spanish. I actually can't speak Spanish. That would be my next language to learn. My husband can speak Spanish. Really? Like fluent wow. Spanish. Wow. Yeah. I know. I didn't even know until one day he just started speaking to someone in Spanish and I was like, what? Um, but there are a lot of similarities between French and Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me. I just have to look for my password. Um, Poor Bo had to deal with needles all the time. Poor Anna. I hate needles, too. I don't, I don't mind them. I don't enjoy them. Ew, you're one of those sick people who just sits there and watches the needle go in. No, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't take it that far. I look away. And then I just breathe and I say, I'm a grown up. <laughs> Touche. Okay. Um, if you could go anywhere right now, uh, so this is from uh, Yavi, I think. Um, if you could go anywhere right now, where would you go? I would go to Austin, Texas because I'm actually headed there. There you go. And that's uh, so fun. Very special wedding. Love Texas. Um, 
Okay, I have to look up, I have to find this. No, don't you just go to passwords? No, no. I don't know how to do anything. Okay. You know me. What do you mean passwords? Okay, so you go passwords here, mm -hmm. do your face ID. Oh. Then you go here and you do streamily. Shut the front door. Yeah, it's right there. That's Get out it. of. That's your password. Oh, that's what it was. I remember that. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Anna's the best discovering like the simplest technology. She's like, I mean, and then you press send. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I can't believe when it works. Um, that works. Oh my Rico. gosh. Okay. okay. So Nam says, please do a podcast in Hindi. My mom actually did not. Uh, yes. My okay. mom actually I'm signing things. did not speak to me in Hindi. Like, all the things she would just speak random words in Hindi. So she would say, you know, we were Nangapanga when we were little, um, or she called us nutcuts a lot, uh, which means like crazy kid. Uh, if you're being bad, kind of. Um, she did make us Indian food a lot, which I loved, and I actually still make Indian food mm -hmm. sometimes. Uh, this Can one, I... I just want to say this one's for Stephanie. Thank you for bringing Bo to life. You're very welcome. Um, Bo will always be a badass. Yes, she will. Look at her here. Badass. Um, Bo gave me confidence in myself more. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, which podcast would you like to have a podcast crossover with? I mean, I'm case file true, true, true crime. <laughs> Some kind of true crime would be good. No, seriously. I've been watching or listening. It's not watching. I've been listening to case file. I'm going to skip this one for now. We'll come back to it. Okay. Okay. Um, like since it's inception, probably like a decade ago, it's so good. The guy who does it, you don't know who he is. Mm. Well, people have theories. My friend Ben Garens and I, if you watch Frain, you know. Uh, we have theories about who he is, respectfully, <laughs> not like stalking him. Um, where are we? Uh, no, I'm kidding. But um, it, I just like it because it's not like too gory and he doesn't give his opinion on the crimes. He just like says what happened and that's that. And it's a great podcast. This is for Amanda. Um, this is Kenzie and I. You said that you love this friendship sisterhood. So did I. Um, and we had each other's back no matter what. It's very true. We were a great combo and, uh, I miss, I miss Bo and Kenzie. So that is for you. Oh, that was down. <laughs> no, you did that. How? Something in here looked thumbs downish. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. There. Thank you. That correction. Okay. So that was Amanda. Um, oh, nope. Okay, so Stephanie, yes. we see you, but it's going to take Anna a minute to write out the speech. Just because I can't think of what that is. Uh, but let's, can we take a picture of that? Yes. Because I, I don't want to lose that and I, I don't remember what that is. Uh, do, okay, so Carla asked, do we all keep in touch? And the answer is actually, yes, we do. all keep in touch. Um, like everyone. I feel like even people who are only there for a couple episodes, we still randomly talk to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. Um, and doing this podcast, we've got to reconnect and yeah. reconnect this season in particular, meeting a lot of um, characters that we didn't meet last season's podcast. That's true. Which is very cool. Um, this okay, next one this is, is Keisha, uh, Kesha? Keisha? You yes. can pronounce it both ways, I think. Let's see here. Uh, here it is. This is the OG, the OG Lost Girl poster yeah. where we weren't actually standing near each other, but they put us on top of each other. Could you write one of Bo's favorite lines? Um, okay, absolutely I can. Okay, so Nina.da asked, do I wear glasses? And the answer is no, but I wish I did. Why don't you try these on? No, well, I'm no. trying your Coke goggles on. You don't like these? Coke bottles, Coke goggles. <laughs> Um, no, it's not that I don't like Listen, them. I like the I style, actually, but like they're insane. I can't see well, anything. They're, they're, it like, gives me a headache. They're um, bifocals. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you can choose where you look. Okay. But let me. Let me. <laughs> cool. Um, I sometimes wear fake glasses because I think they look cool. But 
No, I don't. I don't need. I uh, don't need glasses. Um, what is my current favorite song? Hmm. Oh, my phone is here. Otherwise, I would look on what's my recent Spotify playlist. I did. This is kind of random, but there's this young man who went on Britain's Got Talent and sang P.A.A. Sue. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of it. It was a viral video. And I bought his single and I've been listening to it a lot. <laughs> He's got the most beautiful voice, people. Gosh, I don't even know that. Yeah. Um, my son has been listening to, oh no, did no one ask me this question? No one cares what I'm asking. No, <laughs> no, never mind. No, no, no. <laughs> people do care. Oh, they do care. Yeah, but so, you can't double task. I can't double task, no. but look, while I'm taking this out, I can, my son loves, likes to listen to this new song. Like he likes to, he likes to go into his room. He has a heavy bag and uh, cause they, my kids do a lot of karate. And so, um, he goes in and he hits the bag and you can see like, you know, when you're young and like this, a song inspires you, it makes you feel a certain way about mm -hmm. yourself and you can just see Sam in there like, like, Aww. and it's, um, panic at the disco is the band mm -hmm. and the song is, what is it? If someone knows a Panic at the Disco song, House of House of Memories, House of Memories, Panic at the Disco. Oh, okay, so I'm getting to cute. it's really cute. Amy, I think I know who this is. Yes, it is. Um, have no. we ever? Have you ever been to France? Um, M A N A O underscore S N D L asks. Uh, yes, both of us have been to France. My husband is from France, so now I go to France pretty much every year. And I love being an adopted Frenchie. Uh, are we Swifties? If so, what's your era? I would say no, not really. But like, not because no shade to, to Taylor Swift. She's great. But I did have a minute with Taylor. What? Yes. When I was in Costa Rica with my cousin trying to get $20 surf lessons. <laughs> we spent the entire trip listening to her 1989 album. Oh. And we were obsessed I with it. I thought that Taylor Swift was there trying to get lessons as I know. Well. I, I understand that that's that, what lots of people would think that story was going to be. Amy, I have signed this for you, wishing you and Mandy much love. Okay. Hello from Oslo, Norway. Hello. This one is for Nikki. All right, Nikki, you're, you've chosen my favorite classic bow. Uh, 1989 is my fave too. Um, do we have a favorite Netflix show? I really liked One Day. I just saw that recently and I it like sucked me in that show, man. It's mm -hmm. so Nikki, that was for you. Their That's chemistry nice. is so beautiful. I loved Mind Hunter. Uh, I thought that was really well done by Netflix. I was bummed that it was canceled. Is that the FBI? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really good. Mm -hmm. I read the book too. Oh really? That it was based on. Oh. By the FBI the guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really interesting. Uh, what else? Profiler. Is what oh, I also have gotten really into Formula One drives to survive. <laughs> and I've seen every episode of that show. I find it highly entertaining. And I was not at all into F1 racing, but it was really, but I also love sports documentaries and football movies. And I don't even like football, but I've seen every single football movie that there is pretty much and love a good sports doc. I've been watching Dynasty on Apple oh. about, yeah, about Brady and the Patriots. Oh, not the old dynasty from before you were born. Okay. Um, this is for Mandy. Mandy, this is for you. Okay. Right here. Thank you. Okay. Jorge or George, if you could write your favorite quote from the show or from my life. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I think one of them is I'm not drunk. I'm coping. <laughs> <laughs> you should just do that one. I should That's just do that one. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that one. Uh, did I watch Beckham? Yes, I did. I started it. I haven't finished it, but it was very good. Uh, have I watched The Haunting of Hill House and Bly Manor? Yes, I've watched all of them. Wow, watched a lot of, <laughs> a lot of television. Um, if I could play any superhero, what would it, who would it be? Batman. This is late for Anna. 
Um, but I made a whole birthday bash for your birthday and even artwork. I would love for you to see it. Oh, actually, I put, I think oh, I put some of it up on you did. The, Natasha. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thank that you was for really that. cool. That's very, very touching. Thank you. Uh, Jorge, this is for you. If Lost World was filmed today, do you think that there would be a trans or non-binary character in the cast faithful for lends well to gender nonconformity? Um, yeah, actually, in one of the episodes, uh, we talk a bit about this because uh, Paul, I, I think Vex was a little bit um, like non-binary in a way, but definitely, I think there's room. I think there was room on Lost Girl for everyone, but I, I, I do think that there would have been. Uh, a character. Absolutely. Yeah, for Absolutely. sure. Um, have we watched Wednesday? I haven't seen Wednesday on Netflix. They needed a succubus on the show. Mm -hmm. Sexy Vexy. Uh, favorite Alice Liner moment? I truly feel like I got so many great lines, but my favorite line is when I come in to the warehouse and I say, hello, evil henchman. And I'm try and find all my evil henchmen, but only Alice would call her evil henchman evil henchman. It's just really <laughs> on the nose, and I thought it was super funny. Kelly, this is for you, and I wrote a favorite quote. Uh, are the podcasts going to air on YouTube again? Okay, so this is actually a really good question. So we did a little video about this on Instagram, but last year we felt like the people who, and so many of you are so sweet and join Patreon, but we felt like we didn't give you enough special because every time we do a special episode, we'd be like, but everybody needs to hear it. And then we'd release it for everyone. Um, so we wanted to have something that was sort of special for Patreon only. So all of the season one episodes are going to still remain on YouTube and everyone can watch them. Season two episodes will just be for Patreon. Perhaps in the future we'll, we'll release them, but at least for this season, they're just going to be for Patreon. Um, and we're going to do a couple other fun things for Patreon as well. But we will still be putting clips of the episodes up on the Instagram page. And of course, the audio is available for everyone um, anywhere you want to listen. And it's all in the link tree. And if you want to join Patreon, that's also in the link tree. Uh, and so then you can see these mugs. Too soon. <clears throat> this is from a friend, so maybe this is a surprise, but it's done. And thank you. Um, do I think Bo and Tamsa Kate, this is from Sid, would they have been happy together if the show had a different ending? I don't think, I don't think Bo would have been ha happy with Tamsa. She was meant to be with Lauren. She's meant to be with Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. He agrees. Leo. Leo agrees. Good call, Leo. <laughs> Um, uh, Dr. Flex, thanks for being a Patreon supporter from day one. That's legit. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, that scene was my favorite. Anna looked so hot. That's oh. from Call. I'm not sure May. what scene you're referring to, but <laughs> I'll take it. Uh -huh. Um, okay. I'm going to need a black marker. Okay. And I, this is for Nancy. Did I like the birthday video? I don't know if I saw it. I saw, it. Did if you tagged the Lost Girl yes. rewatch? I saw a few birthday videos and I liked all of them and I'm very grateful for all of them. So I'm not sure specifically. I'd have to go back and look, but I appreciate it and thank you. If, and I'm if to, Nancy, you're watching, yeah, maybe write and say it's me, and then Anna can see your handle. Um, and because sometimes people's handles on Instagram are different than their names. Would Bo like a Doomslayer Crucible and Blade Gauntlet? I'm, you know what? There's nothing about those words Bo wouldn't like. She likes all of those things. So yes, absolutely. But which one? Oh, no, and. No, I, I'm just asking. You I have think the choose. Doomslayer Crucible. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, were there any scenes that you ladies did not like filming? I mean, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I um, didn't. I didn't love 
just one of the days on the Krampus episode. I I, mean, I feel like I say this a lot, but that episode just, just dogs you, doesn't it? Yeah, it just really just didn't do it for me. Um, but that didn't really have to do with the episode itself. I just remember I think I was having a bad day, and there were like people on conveyor belts. And, yeah, yeah, it's hard when you're having a bad day. Yeah, you don't want to be. But that sticks out belt. in my mind. But I feel like that's one of probably like the only things that stick out in my mind is something that I didn't love. Um, do I have contact with Adelaide Kane? The answer is yes. I saw her yesterday, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. Love that. Um, this, oh, here we go. The scene that Anna was hot AF is the one she just signed, the one where she's cleaning the car. Yeah, man. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, there were several things that came into play, mostly that I had just had my son. <laughs> I had a lot of extra Boobies. extra curve yeah, in all the places. Um, thank you, Sam. Uh, okay, so Mary. This is for Mary. Groundhog Fay is one of the best episodes. That's the Krampus one. No, that's just someone is saying that. I'm not saying it. No, but you. you I, but but also, it's the Krampus one. No, I know. Oh, she knows. <laughs> then glad you think it's one of the best episodes. A bunch of people are saying that they love Kramp- that Krampus. I episode. loved. I loved filming it. Um, um, but but you didn't, and so I in solidarity. No, no, no. I, it's it's just the one day. I need to go back and rewatch that episode. I guess we will be doing that not this mm-hmm. season, but. Uh, <laughs> someone says I watched that scene and got pregnant. Um, if there was a Lost Girl reboot, what would you like the reboot to be about? And it push this over to you because you're the one signing right now. Okay. Um, ah, yes. Um, let me just put my. I can do. I can write my name and talk. Okay, Show Anna. To God. What would you have liked Mary. to see? So oh, this Mary. is Natalie. That was for you, by the way. I wrote my favorite quote on there for you. Miss um, Mary. this is uh from Natalie. Anna, what would you have liked to see with Tamsin's daughter and Bo's relationship if there had been an extra season or film? I think an extra season with her would have been really cool. And um, I think it would be a passing of the torch in terms of a younger female fae coming up in this world. And Bo sort of showing her the way and letting her find her own as well. I know that's very storybooky, but I like storybooky. So, so there. Uh, see me. This is for you. My fave. My fave bow. So, what was the process behind making the podcast, and how did it, we both prepare for it? Uh, that is from. Uh, oh, it just went away. But um, sup something. Uh, so the process of making the podcast, we were actually at a comic con together and one of you, and we cannot remember who, and if someone, if it was you, let us know because we'd love to have you on the podcast, suggested that we make, um, a podcast or Anna does a podcast and we were all like, yeah, and then backstage we were like, actually, that's a great idea. We should do it. Yeah. And And it wasn't long after that. No, it was very soon after that and we did it and mm-hmm. honestly we couldn't have done it without Anna's husband Seth because he's <laughs> he pretty much did the podcast and we just come and clown around we just sit and do this and Seth does everything else and Seth does everything else <laughs> like literally everything else he's so wonderful, wonderful. um all right guys I believe yes that's anyone who signed for is because we're, we took a photo of it and we've got to just dig into it a little little deeper I think we got everything. Uh, I think we did. Thank you for joining us. This is so fun to do. I know. This was very fun. Right? And we hope that you're liking the first episode. I know some of you have watched it because I've seen them talking about um, AI. Because in that episode, it's with Chris and we talk about how we're we're all actually AI right now. And so I know that some of you have seen it and or listened to it. And because you guys are here, you can be the first to know who's on for episode two. Who is on for episode two? Minnie Walsh. No, is he? Isn't he? Episode. No, he's episode two. 
He's on episode three. Oh no, he's two. Yes, that's right. Yes. Oh my gosh, I just had a heart attack for one second. I'm no, sure. no, no, no. Uh, this is live. He, he is so. Maybe he could be an incubus. Yeah, he's, he's not. a charming. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Grizzly, good looks and. We had a really lovely time having him. We did. We had a lot of fun. It was, we didn't know what to expect because honestly, I didn't know him very well despite working with him. And so I, I was actually really pleased to get to know him a little bit better. Yeah, and he was so down to do the pod. He was. It was really fun. Yeah. So that is coming at you next week. We love you guys. Thank you for supporting us, listening to the podcast, everyone who's on Patreon, thank everyone you, thank who's you. gotten an autograph. And thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the episode. Bye. Bye.